Hello guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rad Kutarot, Rad here and uh, this is going to be Every Sun, Moon and Rising weekly tarot reading for February 11th to uh, February 17th. <clears throat> so usual tradition deck here, the uh, Reader White Tarot. And now uh, while I'm shuffling uh, these cards, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Aries star sign and for that reason is going to resonate uh, differently with every single uh, different Aries. Uh, on top of that <clears throat> I had quite a, a lot of messages recently uh, you know well basically they were inquiries but these inquiries uh, never came back so literally what I figured out is that for most of the people, my previous pricings were rather, let's say, unaccessible. So for that reason, for the month of February, uh, all of this, the pricings of the services are slashed down massively. So if you tried to have a reading with me previously, but you found those uh, previous prices unacceptable uh, for your financial state, have a look right now and maybe you're gonna find them attractive. The website is listed down below in the description of uh, this video. So lovely. Okay, so uh, let's see what awaits uh, Aries. So let me cut the cards. And uh, the first one that we do have for you, which uh, refers to the topic of your week, that is going to be the Hierophant. Followed by the second card, which regards to the things that you should not do. Uh, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. So basically, this is how you should not approach the situation that Hierophant um, kind of unfolds for you. Then the third card <clears throat> is going to be the positive approach you can take toward the situation. Or, um, you know, how you should approach the Hierophant card or the uh, situation that the Hierophant kind of like unfolds. And the last one, main, the last main card, which is the outcome, should you follow the guidance here of the tarot, is how everything unfolds in a, a situation of growth. That reading is more like a, a guidance reading, all right? So it always ends up in a um, situation of growth, should you follow the advice of the tarot. And as this is going to be an enhanced tarot spread, I'm going to draw additional cards per each position. And for that reason, I'm going to leave these cards for now at uh, my table here. And uh, basically what I pick up from them uh, from the first glance here is that, uh, first of all, this is going to be a week where you are going to have a, a tremendous opportunity to acquire help or let's say that long awaited help is going to come around uh, but throughout the week before that help actually steps in you have to kind of like prove your devotion to it or kind of prove that uh, you deserve that help so uh the uh card of the the card that was on the first position that was the hierophant and the hierophant points that throughout this week you're going to be either thought or you're going to be cancelled as well uh, through a, a person that it is ready to give you a, a, beloved, a bene benevolent help, excuse me, and benevolent support. It could also relate to a, a therapeutic help, uh, which therapeutic help in the sense of that if you're feeling, you know, uh, kind of like uh, uh, lacking uh, courage or, or, or lacking determination, or even it could be related to couples therapist, uh, therapy as well, if your marriage or your relationship isn't going very well. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, it kind of like uh, points to someone which comes around, uh, which puts uh, kind of like sheds a light upon the situations that you cannot find an escape road or you cannot find option available for yourself. Uh, well, when this card comes around and you lead on those conversations uh, with this person or, or you kind of clinch into that, into that support and into those, to those teachings, if I may express myself that way, then you are going to find out that actually the, the resolution of your problems are lying in the already existing frame, uh, framework 
of the things that you have at your disposal so you don't have to look very far or you don't have to kind of like uh, figure out a, a surprising and uh, brilliant maneuvers that you have to resolve your issues what this card points is that uh, whatever you are facing throughout this week has its resolution in your already established patterns and you don't have to do anything else uh, the additional card to it this is going to be uh, the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles in this point kind of uh, in this situation here only consolidates the, the thesis of the hierophant that there is only one way how one thing can be done because the five of uh, pentacles is uh, first sitting on established patterns sitting on a uh, kind of like a, 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 it's not a comfort zone in this case it's more like a uh, <clears throat> established routine and also taking on a, a certain defensive measure so these couple of cards could also manifest themselves as someone who is trying to encourage you to uh, fight for what you love or to fight for what you have been owed, okay? In case you are finding it kind of like overwhelming at your behalf to keep on going, well, for what it seems that will be someone who encourages you to do so, to keep on going and to basically fight or defend it's not even fighting but it is more like defending what you uh what you possess regardless of how tough predicaments you may face throughout the week the second uh main position that we do have here this is going to be the negative approach that you can take toward the situation and that is the two of pentacles so two of pentacles is all about being playful it is all about being carefree it is all about you know uh, not sticking up to existing plan but more like living for the moment it is more like a uh, taking on the things one uh, one thing after another as the things are coming around and uh, it is not sticking to an, an exact plan or in this specific case uh, which we saw here with uh, the hierophant card it's not taking the matter seriously in in that case so this is the last thing that you should that you should do here not taking this help that comes around or uh, the attempt of that person to teach you of something or to point you in a certain direction not seriously and instead of you know deliberating on whatever uh, solution or a resolution they gave you for your for your troubles to tell them for example yeah yeah sure man what what the hell do you know you know so it's um it kind of manifests itself in this way <clears throat> and also it's at that specific position it does breed persistence it tells you that you should be persistent when you try to defend your relationship, when you try to defend your career, or simply you try to defend your uh, standpoint. And just because it's difficult at this very moment, that should not be a prerequisite for you to bail out of it. The additional card to it, this is going to be uh, the Three of Cups. And uh, with the Three of Cups, it's kind of like this uh, This card here adds the shade of that you may seek a, a third opinion, okay? Like this person tells you what you need to do and you kind of approach this, uh, this information with, um, what was the word here? Um, a great portion of... Um, no insecurity but mistrust okay so you don't trust that person and you try to kind of validate this uh, this information with different people try to expand your vision through uh incorporating yourself with the uh, mutual experiences with different people people that are not experienced as experienced as that person that comes first that then that step steps out first uh, how you're gonna know uh, actually this uh, this person which is ready to help you well that is going to be someone who um, beforehand did not even lift up a, a pinky finger to do anything in your direction so that is someone that even you are going to be surprised that it is coming around to try to resolve your issues or in, in other words to help you with the three of cups here Again, not taking these warnings or these um, 
advices uh, seriously, but instead, you know, kind of like involving yourself with uh, teamwork with other people, which are just uh, which are at your level. So, for example, at your level, what I mean here is is that you seek advice in, let's say, that your marriage rocks, all right, and it is not really in a good shape and uh, you involve yourself with or try to seek an advice with someone that uh, from someone excuse me that his marriage or her marriage isn't really in a good shape either is not going to help you so again you have to approach what this person tells you uh, seriously instead of seeking different options available which from another hand also says that Maybe you are not going to like what you need to do in order to resolve your issues. Maybe you will not like what you want to hear. It's not different than, for example, going for a tarot reading, just for example, and hearing exactly what you don't want to hear. You go to, to a tarot reading and you say, well, um, when and or not when, but will, I, will I'm going to, let's say, um, reconcile with my ex and the tarot reader or the psychic or whatever tells you no this is something that you don't want to hear you know but also tells you uh how you're gonna meet someone else and so on and so forth but you know you don't hear that part you, the only thing you hear is, is how you will not going to reconcile that uh, and it can manifest in a different way guys it could manifest for example that following this example you go to a psychic and they tell you yes but you have to be uh you have to make more compromises you gotta listen to them you know you gotta do what they ask from you and you will say yeah the hell i will well if you don't then you won't going you aren't going to make a reconciliation you know so it's simple there are certain what i'm trying to say is that there are certain rules that you have to follow in order to reach your goal here and uh, this person that comes around is going to point you what kind of a uh, rules and, and uh, qualities that being said um, <clears throat> are going are going to be needed to be uh, to be accomplished. And after that is everything is everything it's in your hands. Should you go and accomplish them or should you not? That entirely depends on you. But in this case, well, that person can do the job for you, but before that, they will they will want to know uh, how devoted you are, how ready you are to do what is necessary. That is the thing. Uh, the next card that we do have for you, Aries, is that is how you should approach the situation. This is the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles, uh, in this case, points that you should start doubting um, in how you approach your career, in how you approach your relationship, in how you approach in general your lifestyle. Basically, uh, as this person comes around, in that exactly feel that this person comes around and gives you a um, a support or rather advice and help through advice, um, you do so. You are doing something wrong, and uh, basically you gotta you gotta listen to it, and you have to doubt your strategy thus far and readopt your strategy according to what uh, to what this experienced guy or a girl or a woman is uh, telling you that you need to do the five of pentacles is associated with uh, insecurity with a sense of insecurity in the grand scheme of things it could be related as well to money loss all right but in the grand scheme of things it's associated with insecurity lack of um, <clears throat> lack of stability so for example at that point you may be afraid for your um for your place into your career you may have a suspicious a suspicious here that uh, probably your company that you're working at it's uh, performing a, a notice for you uh, a leaving notice for you well when that person comes around and they gave you the advice they have to give you this this advice should be followed has the potential to prevent what is coming the insecurity that it is coming and for that reason you will have to approach once again uh what this person is trying to point you toward with a, a great sense of emergency really and, and and as well a lot of responsibility but also a, a determination to change certain approach within yourself <clears throat> So afterwards, as you are kind of like, I don't know how to say it in English, but 
you know, after you, let's say, after you show that you are ready to do whatever it takes, well, then that person steps in, but this is for the next card here, the Queen of Swords, and when that person steps in, well, simply magic happens, but we're gonna go there in a minute. So the accompanied card here with the um, Five of Pentacles, that is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles at that point, it does ask you to first trust this guy and second of all to um try to maintain as well your um your personal sovereignty and um it's it's um independence was the word that i'm searching for all right uh, what i mean with that is um <clears throat> That whatever you do, you should not rely uh, on anybody else. And whatever deal you strike with whatever comes in your way, regardless if this is going to be a business partner or a, a lover's partner and so on and so forth, this, uh, this deal should be uh, with a, a mutual benefit so you can maintain uh, your independence. And additionally to that with these cards, uh, you have to be very careful how you invest, not just your money, guys, but also your time and your effort. And for that reason, uh, once again, you got to take you got to take under consideration that attempt for a uh, <clears throat> unconditional help that comes around. But before that, like I said, you have to show that you are ready to do whatever it takes in order to uh, in order to receive it. And one thing that you need to do is to think carefully how much you invest and how much you gain from your from your investments. Just for an example, you are you may be investing way too much into an attempt to be with someone while getting nothing in return. And from there, you know, this person comes around and uh, simply teaches you or advising you how you should approach not the situation with the person that you're trying to be with but in generally with your love life and what happens at the end is that we do have the queen of swords here uh, with the tree of swords uh, which is the additional card well first the queen of swords is a, about a very assertive and uh, emancipating person who is capable to push the things through. In this case, your things through. So what happened uh, in reality <clears throat> uh, is that this person approaches you and tells you, gives you the, the hints and kind of like the advices that you need in order to stir your things and to start improving yourself. Of course, this person is very aware that you will not be able to do it on your own and you need a, a professional help a professional help all right but before they can actually step in they need to see how uh, determined you are to improve your circumstances and as you follow the guidance here from tarot that i just said um, <clears throat> they're going to find out or kind of like they will assess that person is going to assess that uh, their efforts helping you are not going to be futile and not going to be in vain and for that reason they steps they step in and simply are pushing your things through regarding your career or regarding your romantic life and especially especially health wise all right that could be a therapist who before deciding to treat you they kind of like, for example, scribe you down a diet or tells you a simple workout at home that you need to perform for the duration of the week. And when you come back at the end of the week, you know, um, <clears throat> if the results that from that diet or from these um, from these workouts, that is just for example, are not in present that means that you haven't taken you know their their prescription seriously and you're not ready to get as far as you need in order to improve your health for example and for that reason they will not be agreed to treat you because for that person money aren't everything for that person name is everything and reputation and therefore sure ain't going to involve themselves into something that it is a lost cause so first thing that you need to do is um prove them that you are not a, a lost cause. 
And the, the uh, follow-up card here, this is going to be the Tree of Swords. And with the Tree of Swords, guys, the process of pushing your things through career-wise, relationship-wise, or health-wise are going to be rather difficult. Uh, there are going to be many things that you're going to find um, not just difficult to be done, but also poignant to be done, but also you're going to find them necessary to be executed so you can really see how your circumstances are uh, improved. And all in all, what this card is pointing is that once you were cornered back uh, with your back against the wall, now you do have the required support and the means necessary in order to put a stand and as well to push off the adversary, which could be a person, which could be a situation, or in general, a, a lifestyle. Because like I said, the five of pentacles could regard to a lifestyle. For example, you drink a lot or you are messed up with some drugs or substances and so on and so forth. You try to stop uh, with them, uh, but <clears throat> uh, and you find the right guy or a girl who can help you with that. But first, that guy or a girl wants to see how determined you are to stop them. So they kind of put you under a small test. And after that, the true therapeutic help comes around. That could be as well counted for a depression. It could be counted for a heartache. It could be counted, like I told you, for a lack of... Um, it's not courage, but determination to move on, forth with your career, and so on and so forth. Literally, what we do have for you, uh, Aries, is here, is that a help is coming around, but this help is gonna is gonna have a, a high price for it. It's not even a high price, but it will require from you to do what is necessary. And if you don't prove that you are ready to do so, this help ain't going to step in. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, uh, there is a, a massive discount on all the services at my at my website for the uh, month of February. So until if until this moment you have find me rather inaccessible for reading due to the high costs, now have a look and maybe you're gonna find the new prices a uh, attractive. So uh, that being said, see you around guys, until next time. Bye.